Hi, and welcome to AFTV. I've got Belgium with me. We've just lost 3-1 to Brighton in the Cup, Emirates Stadium. How are you feeling? Because we didn't get to see it. How are you feeling? Well, do you know what? Let me start saying, uh, what's the name? Robbie's giving one million or something that way out. One million dollars, yeah. Oh, is it? Is that for... Is that from him or for Dia Sports? That's, 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 oh, that's okay. from someone. <laughs> that's good. I ain't got it. That's good. That's, <laughs> that's good, man. Oh, well, do you know what? Well, let's digress, <laughs> man. Regarding the game, yeah? About the game. Do you know what? I don't know why. Listen, it's a shame that we lost tonight. Because uh, on reflect on the game, yeah? You can see we have 22 shots. Mm -hmm. Four on target. Mm -hmm. We had at least... Almost 60 was well, 60 percent when it comes to possession, right? And literally, everyone was shouting at us. I heard some people saying, Oh, Katie and Katie and Katie. The thing is that it was so funny. I was sharing the same box with uh, in Katie's family. I was with the mom, we were sharing the same box mm -hmm. tonight because uh, obviously, thanks to Lokanga, yeah. And uh, oh, is that you got your, oh, is that, oh, is that you got your tickets? Yeah? <laughs> well, and the thing is that the thing is that sometimes, uh, when we're trying to kind of uh, say stuff about players, we need to understand that sometimes they can have a good moment and sometimes they can have a quiet moment too as well, you know. And no player go out there to kind of say to himself that, like, you know what, I'll just, be on the, I'll just be on the pitch, not doing anything. They want to go there and do their best. I heard everyone say, oh, we need players. This place, you know, we don't yeah, need We're not scoring enough goals, though. That, yeah. It's true, but it depends. Is the way the coach wants to play? I was telling yesterday. I was on the spaces, and people said, "Oh, we need a transfer window." I said, "Listen, you need a transfer window." But the thing is that before you can get a player in, that player has to be tactically flexible, so that when there's a switches, or sometimes when the coach is decided that he wants to base his uh, static uh, tactic structure into in some way that player has to come in and fit into that mm -hmm. and the player has to understand again to what the coach wants him to be doing on the pitch you can't just go and buy players in and say oh yeah you need this or you need that player so it's not that straightforward mm -hmm. right and tonight those boys they're not i mean let's say it's our second team basically <laughs> but hey second half yeah mm -hmm. we were all over them mm -hmm. You're telling me this because I, I didn't yeah, watch it. So I was watching I, it. I, I was, I was, so you, I, I, was, I was drinking. I was doing this. Thinking. Yes, of course. <laughs> we couldn't. Yeah, go on. I was still watching it. But the thing is that we had chances second half. We had chances, but it's just like we didn't take them. And sometimes when you don't take your chances, you get punished, right? The first goal that they scored, yeah, the Iago. I'm talking about the Iago. It was a gift. But well, everyone is blaming the goalie. Go the goalie was nervy. He took it. You know, the thing is, I don't know, maybe sometimes when the ball is not in your area, sometimes you switch off, and that's what happened to him. And he, he came a penalty, and again to work back score, you know, which was a shame. Then second half, well, again, to we got into the game. Then second half, we started it well, but we didn't take our chances. So right. does that mean we need to strengthen in January out of front? Well, listen, that's what I said. No problem, but we need to... We, well, if you... I'm not... Listen, when it comes to reinforcement... Yeah. Trip, can you shush, Keba? Let me, <laughs> let me do my interview. Sorry. Sorry, guys. When it comes to reinforcement, <laughs> yes, I do agree with people. I do share the same. But the thing is that it's not because we literally need a striker. We've got Nketiah there as a number two. Mm -hmm. Nketiah can do it. But people sometimes, it seems to know, we the fans... The way we do analyze is sometimes based on emotion, mm -hmm. and we need to be careful, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, if we get a striker in, what sh what, what shows that our striker coming in? Therefore, our what wasn't it? Our ghost situation will be resolved. Mm -hmm. Nothing shows that. Do you understand it? So, Nketia is still our number two mm -hmm. option, which is fantastic. Is a progressive striker. Yeah, mm -hmm. when the ball is in the air. Uh, it can sh when he needs to shield off the players or defenders, mm -hmm. he knows how to do that, right? So, uh, so when people saying that, I'm, I'm not disputing that far. We need re some reinforcement, but it shouldn't be oh, uh, we need a striker per se because that in that case, I say uh, last week I was saying when it comes to uh, attacking movement with Jesus, it's fantastic. Decision making is good. Uh, when it comes to 
again to reading the game mm -hmm. is very good, but he just is not been able to score, mm -hmm. you know, when he gets his chances. But he keep on dropping deep. Come, come, that's in, uh, what's his name? Uh, Lo uh Sammy so uh, Lokonga's uh, cousin. I just want to introduce him quickly. And the thing is that the, the problem is that it's just like we just need to be having those chances, mm -hmm. and hopefully, sorry, is that okay? Hopefully, yeah, hopefully. We could get you know those things moving, but me, I'm not worried because I know that against Wolves we will go there and get the three points. The only thing that I'm worried about is just like the players because they're coming to the end of uh, well, obviously that's the last game before the World Cup. And normally during the World Cup, World Cup always usually happens at the end of the uh, end of the season. But this time is in the middle of the season, and again to uh, I say speedy recovery to uh, Sadio Mane. But you can see that players hopefully the players will come out on Saturday. They last game and play so that they will not be thinking oh they if they pick up an injury they might not be able to make it to the world cup so hopefully yeah so hopefully uh arsenal whoever tonight it will just be one off tonight so hopefully on saturday they'll okay, come back okay. stronger yeah so and, and also, and let me let me end with samuel congress cousin and any stories you can tell us about little, 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 little Sam, quickly. Hey, one little story to We're finish. We're not officially cousins, but it's family friends. Family, yeah, go on. Uh, yeah. But, you know, spirits are still high. I yeah. think um, this is just, you know, just um, a game that we could put behind us. Yeah. But the most important thing is focusing on um, the Wolves game and especially the Europa League and the, and the Premier League. I think that's the most important things yeah. that we want to focus on. So, um, we're, yeah, spirits are still high. We're mm -hmm. still excited about the Wolves game and um, hopefully the team is strengthened during the World Cup. Yeah. That's the most important thing. And then hopefully next year we come back stronger. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.